Welcome to the latest edition of Educational Outcomes. As before, we've merged data from various official sources to provide you with a handy one-page summary of all your key data, plus a series of charts to show how your school's performance compares with all others in the country. There's also an extensive database of all schools results so that you can identify some you might be able to benefit from working with. Not only that, but you can select any state school in England and get a complete view of their individual performance. Let's start with the Select Your School tab. To find data for your chosen school, double-click on the existing school name. Delete the existing school name. and start to type the name of the school you're looking for. The box will eventually auto-fill and find your chosen school for you. This profile page starts with an overview of your school's context compared with the national picture. What's the profile in terms of prior attainment of last year's Year 6, for example? What about free school meals, SEN and EAL? Next comes a figure showing what difference to overall percentages one pupil in the year group can make. Very useful for smaller schools. Moving down the page, we've separated out attainment and progress measures. You'll notice that we've included results at both the expected and higher standards for each of the key measures, and both scores and significance for progress. Finally, for the left-hand side, there's overall and persistent absence. These figures are for the autumn and spring terms only, followed by the school's latest offset information. We now show the latest short inspection date as well, if there has been one, and you can download the latest Ofsted report by clicking on the word link. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's a chart summarising the key attainment data followed by two tables. The first one breaks attainment and progress data down by prior attainment group. How many of your school's low attainers at Key Stage 1 reach the expected standard in reading? And how does that compare with all low prior attainers nationally? The second table shows similar information for pupil premium pupils. This time we've calculated the gaps in performance for you. But unlike ASP or the IDSR, we've measured your in-school gaps, not the gaps between disadvantaged pupils in the school and non-disadvantaged pupils nationally. We feel that this is useful additional information for you. The final colour-coded column shows how your gaps compare with the national gaps for similar pupils. There's no significance here. It's just red if your gap is bigger, or green if it's smaller. The profile page is followed by three scatter charts. These plot your school's position along with all other schools in the country for expected levels of attainment compared with their prior attainment. In this example, the selected school, the orange dot, is in the top left-hand quadrant. Although the prior attainment of these pupils was well below the national average, their average scale score for reading was well above the national average. Which quadrant would your school be in? And also, look vertically. How many schools are above and below yours? They're all schools with a similar level of prior attainment, yet there's a wide variation in outcome. Why might that be? Are there schools you might be able to learn from or help? The three charts cover average scale scores in reading and maths, and the percentage of pupils reaching the expected standard in reading, writing and maths. The final tab provides a link to an even wider set of data on each state school in England. As we scroll across, you'll see that there's further information on school context and progress, and attainment by disadvantage and gender. There's also additional information about geographical location and contact details. 
You might, for example, want to see if there are any schools in your area with a similar gender split and levels of free school meals or prior attainment where boys have made greatest progress in reading. By using the filter arrows, you can quickly and easily identify any schools it might be worth getting in touch with. Educational Outcomes is an exclusive benefit for SSAT members, so we do ask you not to share the resource with non-member schools. It's available in the Exchange, the Members area of our website. We also produce versions of Educational Outcomes for Key Stages 4 and 5, and they're all regularly updated when, for example, the latest Ofsted information is released. We hope you've found this introduction to Educational Outcomes useful. If you have any queries about either it or your SSAT membership, then please contact the Head of the Primary Network. Thank you.